Simplicity is an art. Depending on who's doing it, it can be a very bland art, uninspiring in its own right. But sometimes a simple idea, combined with an excellent execution, are all you need to make a profound statement. And in N+, that statement is awesome. An update to the Flash-based N that won developers MetaNet Software and Audience Choice Award at the 2005 Independent Games Festival, N Plus brings the experience into high def for the Xbox Live Arcade. There's not much more badass than a ninja. Debate their timeless feud with pirates however you will, but the simple idea of a super agile, wall-climbing, death-defying acrobat of killing is a world unto itself. Strip away the mythology, the pop culture, and Granty Mahara with a blowgun, and you're left with well, what would be a fantastic concept for a platform game? So here's the deal. You're a ninja. You're in a room full of obstacles and pitfalls and gold. Lots of gold. There's a door and a switch. And there just may be a number of things trying to kill you. Your task, should you choose to accept it, is to hit the switch and make it for the exit before time runs out. Each piece of gold you acquire, because what's a good ninja without an eye for loot, gives you another second to egress. But watch out for rocket launchers that'll kill you, rail guns that'll kill you, floor guards that'll kill you, mines that will kill you and send bits of you flying all over the screen, long falls that will kill you, and the X button that will kill you instantly. N Plus is the very picture of simple control. You have a stick for directional control, a button to jump, and a button to kill yourself if you get into an impossible situation. Or you just feel like it. This is very much the new wave of gaming, where lives don't matter, success matters. You can retry a level as often as you like, gaining a better understanding of the timing with each playthrough, or until you fling the controller at the screen in an apoplectic fit. Though simple, the game itself can bring upon some horrifying challenges at the later levels. I still have nightmares about the sound of a freshly launched missile as it makes a course for my head. As mechanically basic as the game is, the physics and control are tight as a drum. In a game where life or death hinges upon a few pixels or being able to get the right start as you speed up a wall, it's crucial for the onus to be on the player, not the system, and N plus leaves nothing to be desired. If you die, it's your own damn fault and die you will. A lot. The game comes with 50 episodes of 5 stages each, not counting the tutorial levels. Additional episode packs are available as DLC for a couple bucks each. If you're feeling lonely in your ivory tower of awesome ninjutsu, there are also several multiplayer modes, including a race and survival maps. For those who feel the need to torment their very own ninja, there's a full function level editor included for your own evil schemes. You can paint a grand masterpiece of destruction, a cakewalk filled with homing missiles, or just throw a shout out to your channel. The world is your burrito. While the real high def experience is native to the 360, there are also portable versions for the DS and PSP if you need to get your ninja on the go. Regardless of the medium, the net effect is the same. Graceful, if oftentimes violent, physics, practiced motions, critical timing, it's like a song in platformer form. It's poetry in motion, without anyone failing you in geometry.